What up, everybody? It's your boy, Brian, and I am back in the building with Pass the Scratches. And today, we're doing something a little different, man. So I like to call this Pass the Scratch. That's what we're going to change the name of the channel to because I am now diving into financials, investing, and things of that nature, as well as still doing my scratches, man. So I just want everybody to, you know, hopefully rock with me on this journey and, uh, Help me take it to the next level with what I'm trying to show you guys. So today, I just wanted to come in and show you guys my dividend portfolio. Basically, if you don't know what dividends are, dividends are pretty much a, a certain amount of money that the company will pay you just for holding uh, shares of that stock. So I have a few different dividend stocks that I'm going to show you guys today. And I'm, uh, I hope that you guys will, uh, you know, rock with me with this. You know what I'm saying? So this is my journey going from zero dollars to to 10k, which is my my initial goal to go from, you know, zero dollars to, you know, ten thousand dollars. So I'm, I plan on doing that with, right, with dividend investing and also with. Uh, <laughs> playing the long game with Dogecoin. So if you do not know, I am about to let you know. Let's get into it. All right, so looking right here, these are a few of my dividends that I, I, I literally am waiting on. So these dividends right here are pending. These dividends have, let's see, let me go down a bit, actually. I'm going to go to, I'm going to start right here at the Amplify High Income because this is one of my most recent ones since I have been back into my dividend investing. The older ones from like these and, you know, the others are old dividend payments that I received when I was investing beforehand, but this is something completely different. So, First, I got a dividend from Amplify High Income, which the dividend I received from them was 13 cent, which, you know, 13 cent for, you know, doing pretty much nothing is always going to be a good thing to me. I'll take that. So I literally own one share of uh, Amplify High Income and they paid me 13 cent just for holding that particular stock. Uh, let's see, dividend that I received from AT&T I own one share of AT&T at the time. I received 52 cent for that one share. And AT&T actually just cut their dividend, uh, I think by like 20%. So if I'm not mistaken, the dividend should be right around 37 to 40 cent now per share. So not too bad, but definitely uh, it's something to pay attention to. Um, but I think it's going to work out in the long run. Also, dividend from Crestwood Equity. I got $62.50 from these guys. Oh, no. I got $6.25, which was $0.62 cent and, you know, half of a penny. Pretty much for 10 shares. So, I, owned ten, I had 10 shares of uh, Crestwood Equity at that time. So, they paid me $6.25, which you can see is has already been reinvested into more shares of this uh exact company because it's you know i got it on automatic drip so it automatically reinvests all of my dividends that come in so it kind of creates that snowball effect which helps you uh you know get more money in the long run so also i got a dividend from kinder morgan which uh their ticker number is ticker symbol is kmi i have i had two shares of them at that time and I got 27 cent per share, which came out to 54 cent. So roughly, not nothing too major. You know, it came up just those few dividends came up to a, probably about a little over $10. And then I have these dividends as well that are pending, which is a dividend from Sculptor Capital Management, which I own four shares of them. Uh, they're going to pay me 30 cent per share, which will come out to $1.20. Uh, that payment will be made to me on the 25th. Uh, I have another 24 cent payment coming to me from Portman Ridge, which is uh, a company I have four shares with. Also, they're going to pay me six cent for 24 share. I mean, they're going to pay me six cent for, which is going to come out to 24 cent for four shares. And also, I own 
one share or yeah, two shares of uh, BP, which is British Petroleum, which I'm sure everybody is familiar with. 